When it comes to the big bodyweight movements, specifically pushing ones like the handstand push-up, the planche, the press to handstand, you're only gonna be as strong as your weakest link. For most people that I worked with, that's the rotator cuff. It's important that we know what we're training and why we're training it. We know that the external rotators are actually significantly more activated during pushing movements, such as the dip, push-up, or handstand push-up. And the internal rotators are more active during pulling movements, such as the pull-up or row. To steal an analogy from Charles Poliquin, we can think of these bigger movements as adding a larger engine to a sports car. More power is great, but in order not to die and drive quickly, we need to have good brakes. They are actively resisting the movements that we're performing. So if you want a stronger handstand push-up, yes, do more pushing movements, but also make sure your external rotators are strong enough for optimal progress. At the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you a quick 12-week example of how to put that into place. But first, let's cover some drills. For beginners, we wanna start with something that's gonna recruit the largest external rotator, which is the infraspinatus. We also wanna make sure that it's safe and progressive. The best place for this is a side external rotation. I'm using a band here as I've got minimal equipment but using a dumbbell or a cable is arguably better. One thing you need to consider is the strength curve. The more the band stretches, the more resistance it provides. Same isn't true for a cable. When performing this one, most people are gonna prefer using something like a towel as a gap between the side and the arm. This is gonna enable a greater rotation. You wanna think here about pulling the shoulder down away from the ear whilst rotating only at the arm. As the arm is to the side here, it's gonna help primarily push-ups and dips because that's the range of motion that we're performing it in. A progression on from this and aid with movements like the hands and push-up, we want to move the arm slightly more to that overhead position and this would be an arm to the side but on the knee, external rotation. Like the first movement, we want to focus on the rotation coming from the arm and keeping that shoulder stationary, specifically watching out that we don't roll the shoulder and instead we actually use this movement to develop the internal rotation and get a stretch over the external rotators in that bottom position. We can take this exercise one step further again with a bonus progression and that is by adducting the arm and placing the elbow not to the side but to in front. This one is going to be weaker than the first movement because it's gonna place that posterior shoulder into a stretch from the start but it's gonna give us much more translation over to things like the handstand push-up position because the shoulder position is almost identical. These external rotation movements are really the bread and butter, but another one, particularly so, a favorite by the granddad of online fitness, Jeff Cavalier, is the face pull. The face pull is gonna work this externally rotated position with the arm again in that more overhead position. It's a little bit more safe than the single arm progression mentioned earlier. And also it helps us to contract some of the traps and rhomboids as well, which are equally undertrained and underdeveloped. Like the first exercises, the key here is to think about this movement coming from the shoulder and avoiding any momentum from the torso. An extra bonus tip that you can add here is for additional external rotation. Don't just stop with the hands by the face, try to externally rotate as far as you can in that face pulled position. And we move on to the final option here, sort of covered by the face pulls, and it's not really a rotator cuff, that is the traps, specifically the lower traps. This is a commonly undertrained position that's very important for bodyweight training because we're going to be using it in anything overhead, handstand push-up and handstand in particular. The trap three raise with a dumbbell is one of the best options here that helps us focus specifically on the lower traps, but also incorporate some active flexibility and train strength in that end range, much the same as many of these rotator cuff drills. Focus on the movement coming from the shoulder. We don't wanna be straight overhead. We wanna actually be around 30 degrees out to the side, thumb facing up, making sure you don't bend the arm, straight arms, we wanna be working this at the shoulder. If we continue with the band theme, we can do a sword draw. This variation is similar. It's still gonna work the lower trap in the end range, but the dumbbell version is preferred. So let's put this all together, as I mentioned, in kind of a rough 12 week program broken into three phases. For people who are beginners, or maybe you're recovering from an injury, we wanna start off with safe and simple. For that reason, you wanna use the side external rotation and the face pull. This is gonna have you covered at beginner level and just get some reps in. Progressing on from there, we wanna to move to 
and abducted to the arm to the side position as well as begin to look at developing the lower traps as I mentioned essential for handstand and anything overhead. Finally we're going to load it up. We want to perform this at a higher level of recruitment and the best way is to increase the intensity. We don't want to go crazy low but somewhere between the six to eight rep range is a great way of developing that maximum strength in the rotator cuff so you can perform maximum strength in your core pushing movements. So that's a quick and dirty approach to training the rotator cuff. Simply add those particular setups at the end of your training, whether that's upper body, full body, it's gonna work excellent. This is just my opinion. I'd love to hear your opinion. Let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite rotator cuff drill is. Love to hear it. Other than that, catch the next one. Have a strong week. <laughs>